Hi, I'm Ems, aka on Zack and Wings. I wanted to share with you the start of my Lamenta Space Marine Army. This isn't my first foray into Space Marine Army building. I have painted quite a few different forces in the past. However, one of the main armies I've painted and played with over the years is Imperial Fists. However, for 10th edition 40k, I wanted to change things up a little bit. I do like Imperial Fists, but I I think they've gone kind of chadro lately, if that makes sense. They've kind of gone down the route of ultramarines. Lament has just made sense to me, as they're a similar colour scheme to Imperial Fists, but they have a lot more freehand work on them, and that's what I've been experimenting more and more with, as you can see on this tank. Besides the fact it was an easy transition for me, as I was already kind of accidentally painting them anyway, they do have a very rich history and have been mentioned since the start of Warhammer 40k in the 1st edition Rogue Trader. One of the main storylines from the Rogue Trader, and which is still canon, is something called the Bad Ab War. The Imperial Armoury books expand upon the Bad Ab War and go into it in more detail, explaining the Lamenters more. The Bad Ab War is really interesting, it's an instance in which a civil war breaks out but with not any heresy involved. The Bad Ab War is a really great example of the hubris and miscommunication, how badly run the Imperium of Man really is. Weirdly enough, the Lamenters are a successor chapter to the Blood Angels. They occur from the get-go because of this and they're an extremely melancholy force. They've nearly been wiped out on numerous occasions. However, they keep getting back up, and they are mentioned in the new Blood Angels Codex, which means they have Primaris Marines. They've also been involved in quite a lot of other conflicts, such as the First Tyrannical War, which nearly wiped them out again. And they do actually care about Imperial citizens going to the brink of destruction in the name of trying to save people, but then ironically getting them all killed. I think they're interesting because they're kind of relatable and endearing in the fact that they fail, but they keep trying and they come back time and time again. I wanted to briefly go over the colour scheme for these guys, like I said it's similar to Imperial Fists. I start off with the base coat of Avalon Sunset, or easier is the Sunset Yellow from Colour Forge, which is a rattle spray can. I then mix Yurio Yellow with Imperial Fist Yellow, this packs a really strong punch. In a similar way to adding inks to paint, adding contrast paints to similar colours makes them more vibrant, I find. And I never use them for their intended purpose, I use them in different ways. I then add some soft shadows, so I mix Skag Brown with Uriel Yellow, and then I put them into the recesses and a little bit onto the panels to create some contrast and shadows. And then I add some deeper shadows with Doom Bull Brown, I really love this colour, it's brilliant. For my highlights, I firstly used this bright yellow from Attacker Hobbies. This is very similar to Flash Kits Yellow. And then I mix Dawn Yellow in with this for some sharper highlights and then just do plain Dawn Yellow. There's a great website you can go onto which has a list of all the heavy metal colour schemes. I'll link that in the description below. To do the freehand work, I sketch it out with a mechanical pencil first. These checker patterns, what I've been doing is painting it all in white first and then sketching it out afterwards and then putting the black marks on there. If you would consider doing a Lamenter's Army, you can make it easier on yourself and you can buy some pre-done shoulder pads and backpacks. You can also 3D print them as well. The Dreadnought is a work in progress, it still needs some work doing on it, but I've been learning more about shading panels on things like these. So yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. This is the start of my Lamenter army. I'll keep doing some update videos on this as the army grows. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to enjoy your hobbies for yourself. Respect the people enjoy them in their own ways. And at the end of the day, they're just war dollies. I'll see you in the next one.